Hi, and welcome to Wednesday of Wayne. You know, before the internet really took off and stamps got really expensive, every year people used to send Christmas cards to each other. I remember Rhea and I would really get 40, 50 or 60 of these things and they would have typically a, a picture on the front of it might be a manger scene. You know, Jesus in a manger born in a village in Bethlehem and captured would appear under the, under the picture things like, for unto us a child was born. Glory to the newborn king, or peace and joy to all mankind. Not that all of them had spiritual connotations to them. Some of these cards had Santa on them and, you know, Christmas trees on them. And, and, and the captains might read something like this. It's beginning to cost a lot like Christmas. That wasn't the only one. Or, or I hope you like the present that you told me to buy you. What I have never seen on a Christmas card is this. All things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. You know, that's how John starts his Christmas story, the coming of Christ. Think about it. The creator of the universe became a victim to his creation. The one who created everything willingly came under parental control. Jesus ate what Joseph and Mary fed him. And he went wherever he told them to go. Uh, he, the one who stung the stars under the sky became a victim of gravity. If his mum dropped him, he would fall like an apple out of a tree. And the reason Jesus did that, he wanted to create a pathway for you and me to reconnect with the Father in heaven, to a God that loves us. Now, Leighton Ford, the late evangelist, put it this way. If you knew the torrential rain was coming and it was going to flood and wipe out an ant nest, it wouldn't matter how loud you yelled or how much you jumped up and down. The ants wouldn't understand what you were saying. The only way you could communicate to those ants that a flood was coming was if you were to become an ant. That way you could. That's exactly what God did when he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to planet Earth. He became one of us to communicate with us today. Why not take some time out to listen to what he is saying? Hey, that's my thought for Wednesday of Wayne. I want to remind you, this Sunday after church, we've got our annual general meeting, and uh, that's going to be exciting. Everyone's welcome to come. Of course, only members can vote, but everyone's welcome to come. Now, why not take some time to invite someone to our Christmas Eve or our Christmas Day service? I've already invited five people to Christmas Eve, and today I'm planning to ring up and invite them up at two. Why don't you reach out and touch someone? You might be surprised how willing people are to come to church at Christmas time. God bless. Looking forward to seeing you this Sunday.